Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Hero bringing you your monthly love read for October 2021 for Cancer. So Cancer, we are going to get the past, present, and future energies for you in love. Um, we are also going to get a De um, Destined Love Oracle card, a Twin Flame Journey message, Volume 2 from Mystic Moon Oracle, the Hidden Truth Oracle from All Things Intuitive, and a Heart Songs by Celestial Forecast by Carrie. Um, we're going to start the reading, though, with a Tea Leaf fortune cards. We're going to pull three cards, and these may not be related to love. Um, this could be just a general message for you. Um, and that is it for cards. Um, these readings are all general, so if you're looking for a personal reading, you can check my website to obtain one. It tells you how to get one there. Um, take what resonates with you and leave the rest, and if you uh, feel like I guess you get four. If you feel like um, it's not resonating at all, please feel free to check your moon and your rising uh, to see if those um, make more sense to you or resonate better. Thank you for always coming to support my page. I do, or my channel. I really do appreciate that. I uh, appreciate all the likes, the shares, and the comments. So thank you so much. And if you feel so inclined to do so, please um, subscribe. All right, guys, um, so we have a couple things. The first thing that popped up was broken bridge, unsuccessful outcome to a problem, and then funnel, period of frustration, lessons to be learned, finger, warning you of a problem either now or in the near future, oof, and mice, discord among friends or family, oof, cancer. So maybe there's something going on um, with your friends or family. There's a warning coming to you that there's going to be a lot of frustrations and lessons learned. Um, and the problem might just be, uh, it says unsuccessful outcome to a problem. So that might just be leading to complete frustration. Hopefully that's not the overall <laughs> vibe of your read. Cause, um, the last week of September into October was a really good vibe. So we're going to get past, present and future, um, cards for cancers in love. There you are, Miss. Cancer, the Queen of Cups, pop it out. Miss or Mr. Cancer, whatever. All right, past, present, and future energies. In love for Cancer. Hmm. Hmm. And let's check out. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so the bottom of the deck is the Hermit. So the overall energy for your read is solitude and healing. Um, I think there's definitely opportunities for love here. Um, but I think some things are going to kind of keep you guarded and want you to, you're going to want to kind of pull back. Um, so we'll see what we got here. So the overall energy is the Hermit. All right. So in the past, Cancer, I have you... Being your awesome, loving self, you're empathetic, you're caring, you're compassionate, you show others love, you give love to others, and you also have this very fiery, passionate um, flame about you, right? Like you're fun, you're flirty, you're sexy, you're um, witty, people like to be around you, and you're also very loving, nurturing, calming, right? So you have all these, you have all this loving nature about you, but you also have this flirty side. You are definitely walking away from a situation. In the past, you walked away from a situation. Um, it appears to be a good situation, but sometimes things aren't always what they appear, right? Like, so this up here at the top is saying, like, you might have a problem in the future among friends or family. So sometimes we do have to walk away from things that we love or people that we love. So you walked away from something, but you're still, you were showing up as a very, loving and passionate person so um you had to leave something behind i'm not sure what that is but um in the present we actually got four cards that popped out so again a page of wands so this passion exciting feeling um i think you have messages of love coming through from an emperor so the emperor it could be an aries or it could be a fire sign sometimes as a taurus but Overall, it's someone that's very much a protector, um, a father-like figure. 
not your father, but someone that is uh, wanting to protect you in love, keep you safe, keep you close, keep you out of harm's way. Like they want to provide for you. They want to take care of you. They don't want anything bad to happen to you. And they are willing to kind of stand up to that. But for some reason, there's this Five of Swords that's got uh, worry and anxiety. And then the Devil card, which um, in traditional tarot means like bondage, kind of like um, addictions. It could be codependent relationships, toxic relationships. Um, it could be like someone who's obsessive or possessive. It could be substance abuse. It could be... Um, workaholism it could be any kind of excessive use of something but I always tend to feel that this um this card is like a um representative of the hell we we keep ourselves locked into like we choose this self-imprisonment and we can get ourselves out of it obviously with addictions that's not always the case like it's if I want to stop you stop it doesn't mean it's an easy or a quick fix um but I feel like uh you have all this passion and coming in, this fire, this offer, someone that wants to keep you protected. But there's this fear, stress, and anxiety. And there could potentially, maybe this is a karmic partner. Um, or maybe you're struggling with some personal issues. Or your person's struggling with some issues. But they have a lot of passion for you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to clarify the devil card here. Clarify the devil card for cancer. The emperor. Okay, so maybe your person has got kind of a, a addictive type personality or um, codependent um, vibe with them. This person that's offering you this passionate start or this passionate connection. Yeah, and, you're, and there's also the queen of wands. So um, ace of pentacles. So I think your person is coming in as this really passionate person that you may actually have a hard time um, saying no to. They might be a bit addictive. Oh, and then there's lovers on the bottom. So choice and love. So very passionate. Hmm. Uh, so then if we if we step towards the future, so right now you might be dealing with someone that you really just feel intense about. I'm not sure it's the healthiest relationship, <laughs> but we'll see. Because on the, the future, we have this Knight of Cups here, which is a, a proposal of love. It could be like an engagement proposal, like they want to marry you. It could be a love letter. It could be messages. It could be a date. Um we have this, again, kind of bounded, self-imprisoned feeling. It's not necessarily the reality of the situation. It's how we feel. And then the moon card, which is, um, it could be using your intuition, but it, it's often things that are hidden come out. So I'm going to clarify what this moon card is representative here because I feel like um, six of wands. So that's good news. That's victory. So. Five of Swords. The High Priestess doesn't want to tell me. And then the World card on the bottom. Okay, so I feel like this Moon card could be um, a situation of conflict or competition. So you might not be the only person that this person is, is dealing with. So you might want to keep that in mind when you make your decisions. Um, the High Priestess is kind of going into yourself spiritually, using your intuition, uh, similar to the moon card, right? Using your intuition, um, maybe not expressing so much and keeping some things to yourself. Overall, if the situation will be a victorious situation for you. Is victory a love situation with this person? I don't know. Is victory moving away from this person? I don't know. Um, but I think it's going to be a very intense, passionate connection. I feel like it's going to be one you feel like you can't really move away from. You're going to find out about this conflict. Use your intuition and you will be victorious. So, I mean, is victory, it's really up to you. Is victory um, an overall relationship with this person? Or is it getting away from this person? Is it them picking you over these other people? I don't know. 
you tell me. My my thought is it'll be working out for you. I have a centipede on my ceiling over there. Um, so yeah, on the bottom of the deck, I'm sorry, on the this card flew out when I was shuffling by before I was distracted by that centipede, um, is retreat, which is very similar to the hermit, right? So this one actually has two people in the retreat. So maybe, maybe you guys will kind of pull off together and heal the situation. The bottom of the deck had fertility, so maybe you're gonna have a baby. Maybe. I don't know. All right, we're gonna get a twin flame journey message, volume two for Mystic Moon Oracles. That relates to the situations in the past, present, or future. I can't take this anymore. That could have been the the past, right? You walk away from something that you can't take anymore. Uh, it could be walking away from this devil type energy and the conflict and the competition and the stress and anxiety. You tell me, Cancer. We're going to get a Hidden Truth Oracle by All Things Intuitive. So many things remind me of you. I'm starting to understand our connection. Mm. I don't think the Devil card is always a super unhealthy situation either. I think sometimes having this extremely passionate, almost addictive type love feeling for someone is not horrible. But it depends on how it impacts you, right? If it's all consuming or making you not take care of things you're supposed to take care of. All right, excuse me. It's getting late. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Um, I'm going to pull a Heart Songs card from Celestial Forecast by Carrie. Um, these are song lyrics from songs throughout the years. The song itself might resonate with you personally, so it's kind of a sign that this is what you should be watching. Um, or the song itself could be a uh, of significance between you and your person or it could just be one of your um i'm sorry or that you just need to listen to the lyrics all right so it's living on a prayer we got to hold on to what we got it doesn't make a difference if we make it or not we've got each other and that's a lot for love we'll give it a shot Whoa, we're halfway there. sorry um i didn't even have to read the lyric for that one i mean most people probably wouldn't but anyways um yeah, so interesting. So I hope this discord among family and friends um, is something it's going to leave you. I think it's going to leave you frustrated for a while. But I think um, overall, we do have the lover's card showing up here. We do have the six of wands being victorious. We do have a true love offer. So I think cancer things will work out for you. So, okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed your reading. That's going to be it for us tonight. Um, thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I do appreciate all the support you give to me, guys. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.